Hey everybody, it's Mark with the Crystal Chronicles, your City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia podcast, coming to you live on Twitch and right here on YouTube every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mino and myself bringing you all your Defo news and talk. This is my, uh, well, it was supposed to be my end of year, but really my end of the last cycle, <laughs> uh, 2021 resource review video kind of where am i standing after this year at the end of this year and at the end of machina cycle as we head into a new cycle and a new year we should be getting information about it tonight and i will probably put together a video and also my tier list videos for all of that once we get the announcements in game we will not have a squex mobile stream if you like this video like, sub, ring the bell for notifications, and consider becoming a member because you can get some exclusive videos, including uh, kind of a look at my setup, which I will be doing briefly or very shortly, I should say. But uh, let's talk about um, resources. I hope this year has been well for your resources. Uh, I started, uh, I started uh, this year uh, with uh, quite a bit of resources, actually. Um, if I was looking back into January. 2021 so uh, just a little over a year ago January 15th I had 883,000 gems 1514 tickets so 835,000 gems 1514 tickets looking into uh, currently if I take my boards and and so I, I know some of you um, are really good at this some of you have thousands of tickets and boards so this is something that's that's easily accessible for you if you're not familiar if you go into your training boards there are characters that I do not have their um, their things mastered so you look and see here obviously I have not any of Prompto's stuff there uh, and so uh, including all those characters, including divine boards, uh, because if I go and look at my um, illusion boards, you can see I still have for several of them. Um, yeah, I still have uh, nine boards or ten boards to unlock here. So there's a lot of resources still left in these boards, 15,000 gems and about 140 tickets so including all of that so in the boards i have about 676 tickets and 63,000 gems my current tickets sitting at 410 i spent a lot of tickets this last month i spent 1096 tickets that's a lot of tickets but i, I did get a whole bunch of stuff so uh, and you can see i have 1,193,180,000 gems currently. So if you add that all together, ends up being around 1,086 tickets, 1,256,000 gems, 180. Um, so about 500 less tickets going into this new year than I did last year, but um, around 400,000 more gems. So you can see I spent a lot less gems, a lot more tickets, but I'm still going into that with quite a bit of resources into this new year. Um, so I feel good about that. Uh, and uh, looking ahead, I'm not going to be spending a lot of gems for the rest of this era. Uh, what about weapons? So, you know, hey, I got all these these resources. Did I not get any of the weapons? Uh, what's, what's my weapons look like? Well, I have 151 of the 152 EX weapons. So I know that because I can go to my uh, EX shop here somewhere. I do have enough tickets, uh, tokens that I could just buy this. So Prompto is the only EX I'm missing. Uh, he is coming back, um, I believe, on a banner. But um, there's also a couple new characters coming out that I may want to uh, token their EX if I don't get it. So. Uh, I'll save until I get about 20 and then I would go and get promptos. If you're interested in LDs, they're a little bit harder. Um, you can actually look on your uh, your all banner, your New Year's Eve banner. And if you want to watch uh, the last episode, episode 182, Mino actually spent gems on this banner. That was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, I would not suggest it. You can actually go down and see all the LDs that are there, except for the new the Machina Cycle ones. So... Uh, I believe there's 121 LDs total. I have 112, so I'm missing 9 LDs. So a considerable amount of LDs I am missing 
Although, in comparison, I have 112, so that's a lot. And they're all going to come back with C90s, so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not feeling too bad. When it comes to BTs, uh, we have 36 options. Uh, you can see if you hit your BT tokens, the one that's I'm missing, I am missing Altamisha, Chigaran, and Caius. I did not pull either of those in the Caius and Chigaran cycle, obviously. And then Altamisha is one I've been missing for a while. So I have 33 of the 36 BTs feeling pretty good about weapons what about realization so uh i know a lot of people don't realize everything i just decided at some point i have the resources uh, i'm just going to start realizing everything so i have 151 of 152 ex is realized i'm missing one ex that's the one i don't have realized i have all armors realized so all 100 if you i mean you can you can just show this and i have all the 15 uh because you just saw in if i go into um power tokens i have every 15 and 35 cp weapon fully limit broke um just missing the one ex and if you go into armor tokens you say i only have 116 armor tokens because there's no armor in the shop that i need i have all the armors um i do not have all the high armors <laughs> uh, still have a whole bunch of those uh but uh, about that, I uh, speaking of high armors, I have 23. It's a little hard to see here. Uh, 23 of the blue armors, and I have six greens, six BT pluses: Zidane, Yishtola, Bartz, Jekt, Golbez, and Machina. Golbez was a super chat donation. Thank you. Uh, shout out to Shalander for that. Um, that's why I have Golbez, and I actually just did Yishtola. Uh, to help Machina, because I think she's a really good partner for Machina. Uh, so I have the two really good supports in Yishtola and Bartz, uh, the two big damage dealers in uh, Jekt and Machina, and uh, Golbez, who sucks, and uh, Zidane, who's got a lot of utility and delete turn. So that's where we are with the realizations. What about the extras? Um, so if you look in again in my stuff here, I do not sell my extra EXs. There they all are. I actually have 130 extra EXs, uh, and I have 26 that have been realized, uh, but not fully realized. So if I uh, invest resources into them, I could get extra spheres, but I don't sell them. I kind of hang on to them because perhaps I might actually want some extra spheres one of these days. Spheres don't matter, but hey, um, what else are you going to do with those kind of things? If I look at... Uh, the resources for the big things or things that yeah you can see obviously I have a lot of um, armor and EX realization materials left but uh, I have three high armor books and four high armor ingots um, I have eight BT books and six BT ingots so I uh, can do four or five almost I guess I can do uh, almost five uh, greens and uh, just uh, unfortunately just a couple uh, blue armors uh, because that's really the, the, the most uh, valuable resource in the game, I guess, is the stupid blue armors. Now, perhaps the thing you've all been waiting for, how many BT tokens do I actually have? Now, uh, I know there's a lot of theorizing about how many BT tokens I actually have. Um, uh, how, how we do this, you can look in a couple places that I keep these. Dimensions End, uh, if you go into Transcendence, every tier of Transcendence, you get three... Uh, BT tokens. So you can see I have not accepted any of the BT tokens. So I have 18 BT tokens in Dimensions and Transcendence. Uh, if you go just to the regular shop, I have 43 BT tokens. I have 10 Moogle tokens. Each Moogle token is worth 5 BT tokens. I have 2 extra Moogle tokens in my inbox. And then that leaves the dupe BTs. I currently have 12 dupe BT. So 43 BT tokens, 60 tokens in Moogle tokens, 18 Dimensions End tokens, and 60 in BT to in BT dupes. That's 181 BT tokens. So I do actually have enough BT tokens to have every BT in the game. I'm not going to use them that way because I don't have any desire to do that. If I have to spend them, um, I would uh, probably do it on Ultimisha because we don't really know what her um, upgrade's going to look like, or maybe it just was announced uh, what it looks like. Oh, no, I think it was. I think she is just in JP right now. Uh, but I've never really had the issue uh, to do that. I did token Machina's BT, and the reason I did that, even though I pulled an extra one later, is because if there's a character I'm interested in using, 
Um, for example, down the road, Laguna, uh, perhaps Snow, but um, definitely Vincent. I'm going to get their BT f as soon as it launches, whether I'm pulling on the banner or not. Uh, I don't care if I'm, there's free pulls. Yes, that's the best way to do it, but uh, I have enough resources. I want to use the character throughout the entire cycle. I want to use them uh, as much as possible, so I'm going to get the BT right away, and that's what I use my BT tokens for. Uh, the nice thing is I can turn in turn in Moogle tokens for BT tokens and those go into your inbox for 90 days and so uh, you know if these are going to expire these aren't going to expire till 85 days from now let's say that gets down to day one I can take two of my Moogle tokens from the store turn them into BT tokens get 90 more days uh, claim these uh, and that gives me a little bit more time so you can spend a lot of time uh, hoarding BT tokens um, again I'm not saving them necessarily. I'm just uh, not using them for characters I don't really care about, uh, like Jagger and Caius. Um, right now, Altamisha's not doing anything. She comes back, I may actually do that. So let me know how your resources went. Did you go up? Did you go down? Are you new to the game? And so you're like, oh, I don't have any idea uh, how it's gone. Or maybe, hey, I don't track. I just pull on everything and just uh, enjoy the game that way. Appreciate all of you. Again, consider becoming a member, 99 cents, but if not, like, sub, ring the bell for notifications. That really helps us. And join us for episode 183 this Thursday night of the Crystal Chronicles, your city of Final Fantasy, Opera Omnia podcast. Until next time, friends, good luck to you. Goodbye.